Okay, in uh, this little video, I want to show you how to do an offset section. Um, and you're going to be doing this for as part of your final uh, for the drawing. <clears throat> and I've got here the, uh, the top view of the object, and the object is not completed because I want you to be able to, you know, complete it yourself without me, you know, showing you exactly. Anyway, I may show you. I don't know. Anyway, here's the top view. And you've done sections uh, already, but we're going to do an offset section. And what we want to do is we want to show as if we cut it through this this hole, offset over to come through the slot and the boss right here. So what we do is we'll go section, uh, choose our view, and kind of hover over the top quadrant there until we get a projection and come up. Then click my mouse come down so that it's vertical, uh, about halfway uh, between the edge of the two features there. Click, come over, uh, horizontal, about to the center of the slot. Click again, and then go down outside of the object. <clears throat> I want to be sure and get outside of the, the, the circle there. Left click again. And then right click my mouse and go continue and drag my view over here to the side and then place it. Now that creates a, a, a section as if we had cut along that line. But if you notice right here, it adds this object line, which is this part of the cutting plane. And we want to hide that. So we want to kind of select it, right click and turn off visibility for that. <clears throat> Because it just the software creates that that edge, but the proper way to draw it is to not show an edge for the the change in the cutting plane. Uh, so this is what you're going to have. Um, let's see if you're if you need uh, well I'll, I'll go ahead and, and tell you and show you if you need to change the hatch pattern because the hatch patterns are based on what the material type is. Uh, so you right click the hatch and go edit hatch style. And then here's where you can change to different patterns and different, different patterns indicate different materials. Uh, but for this assignment, we're going to leave it as ANC 31. That's kind of the normal standard. Uh, the angle of 45 degrees, that's going to be the angle of the line. So if I were to say angle of, you know, 90. It would it would change my lines to be vertical. So let me go ahead. Well, it didn't do it. Let's say sixty. That should give me a. It's not doing it. I don't know what's going on with that. <clears throat> It's kind of weird. Anyway, uh, you're not going to have to change the angle for this assignment. Uh, if, if in some of the other classes, like uh, 1107 and, and 1113, then we have to deal with changing patterns and changing um, the angles of those. And so that's how you do the, the offset section. Now, this, the whole purpose of the section is to be able to dimension things that you can't dimension in a regular view. OK, in this case, uh, the height of the boss uh, is easier to dimension in a section uh, and the distance from, you know, this center of this to the center of this uh, or even the height of this. Of course, you're going to have a, a front view down here. <clears throat> so if you're dimensioning and these things get in the way, you can always click the text and drag it down out of the way. If, if you need to move this. So it's not directly in line uh, with with your base view. Uh, you right click and go edit view. And in the display options, you uncheck align to base. And now you can, you know, you can move this anywhere on the sheet and you can even rotate these views. Um, ah, here we go. OK, rotate. And it, the way Rotate works in Inventor is you choose an edge 
and you want to make that edge horizontal or vertical. And so I would I would leave edge horizontal and I would click the bottom of that and see that rotates it makes it horizontal. Okay. If you should need to change, you know, a section around. Uh, it's usually best to leave sections in the same orientation as the cutting plane and directly across from it. Uh, but that's uh, that's how you're going to do the offset section uh, as part of this assignment for you. There you go.